Hi, welcome back to Priority One. I'm Alexis. Good to have you with us again. And today, as you see, we will be performing some chair-based exercises. Chair-based is a great workout. It's a terrific option for people who may have trouble standing, weakness, pain in the back, in the hips, in the knees. If you've had an injury and you're a little hesitant to stand, join us for our chair-based exercises. And you'll see that today we are joined by Deb, my friend Deb in the blue over here on my right. And again, you might remember Marie from a previous episode. Marie is back with us today with our chair-based exercises. So let's go ahead and have a seat. And you'll want a chair, if you're using a chair at home, you're going to want, as you'll see here, we have simple folding chairs. The key to it is that we have a hard-based chair. We want a hard seat. So while we have a little bit of a cushion, we do want to make sure that maybe you're using a kitchen chair. You're using something that has a hard seat to it. And you'll see to my sides, if you're interested, Deb and I will be showing you some weighted exercises. And if you've been with us before, then you'll know that we're using simple soup cans. A soup can averages about one pound. So you don't need to go out and invest in any additional weights. Head to your kitchen, grab a couple of cans and join us. And Marie will be performing the exercises today without weight. So you'll see that you have the option of either one. It's whatever works for you. Now, when we think about proper seating in our chair, we want to be sitting centered in our chair so our hips feel secure and our feet are flat on the ground. So we'll see, we're aiming to have a nice 90 degree angle right here at the knee. And if you're comfortable with it, let's try and rely upon the spine for stability as opposed to the back of the chair. So you'll see here, I have the back, the back here available to me, but I'm going to try and use my torso to keep steady. We're going to start from the ground up, but before we do anything, let's put those shoulders back and over the hips, allowing for a free flow of oxygen and air. We're thinking about opening up the lungs, opening up the heart. So roll those shoulders back and drop that shoulder girdle low. And again, keep those shoulders right over that hip joint. Okay, let's take a look at our feet. We're gonna start from the ground up. So as we come down to the floor, we are going to keep those toes on the floor. Let's raise the heels up. As we touch, keep those toes down on the floor and you'll see we are raising them up. We have five, four, warming up the calf muscles. Three, two, and one. Let's reverse the action. Keep your heels on the floor and pull those toes up. Good, here we're warming up the shin. Thinking about what we call the tibialis muscle. And five, four, three, two, and one. Now, without watching your feet, let's switch them on and off to wake up the brain a little bit. Keep one toe on the floor and one heel on the floor. Switch and switch. Good. Heel toe. Excellent. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, with one foot on the floor, bring the other one out and circle all about. Make a big circle with that toe and in the opposite direction as we warm up that ankle joint. And let's place that foot on the floor, pick the other foot up and draw some circles with that big toe. I can hear the creaking in my ankles now. Let's get those creaks out. Some circles in both directions. Excellent. Okay, as we work up the body and we work into the knee, let's warm up the knee a little bit. Let's tap that heel forward and bring it back to flat. Touch the heel and flat. Heel, flat, heel, flat. Good, keep that body nice and steady. And just continue to smile. Smile and the world smiles with you, right? And we want to be thinking about feeling that thigh muscle right here at the top of the leg. Good, let's give it a little bit more momentum. A little bit, a little bit more, here we go. Fast and fast, we have five four, and three, and two, and one. Good, keep them right here and start your march. March. And here we want to be thinking about keeping that torso tall and steady. So try to keep the torso right where it is and let this activity, let this march stem from your legs. Try not to lean forward. Pick them up a little higher if you can, five, Four, three, two, one. Keep your march, ease it up. Okay, let's point the toe just as we did before. We're gonna point that toe out in front and tap the toe just like we tapped the heel. 
warm up that shin. Follow me when you're ready. Toe forward. In three, two, one. Toe, 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 toe. Perfect. Five, and four, and three, and two, and one. March it out. March. Good. Knees up. And five, four, three, two, one. Relax that march. Good. Nice, easy march. Knees are low. Let's work up and into the hips. Let's open up the hip girdle here. We're going to take one foot out and in and out and in. Pick up, pick up with the swing. You're ready. Use any foot you like. I'm going to use my right, tapping out to the side in three, two, one. Open and in, open and in, out, in, and out, in, and out, in, and five, in, and five, in, and four, in, and four, in, three, in, three, in, two more, in, two, in, and one, and in, and one, and done. March, march, good. Okay, now let's think about the outside of that hip a little bit more. Let's come back to our heel taps. Let's take our heel taps and go to the imaginary corners of that square we're in, or again, our phantom square that we sit in. Heel out to the corner, any corner, in three, two, one. Heel in, heel in, heel, 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 heel. Good, one side, the other, and five, and four, good, and three, and two, and march right here. Knees up, knees up. Four, three, two, and done. Good, relax those legs a little bit. Right that posture, do a quick posture check. Feel your spine straighten out, your abdominal section tighten up, and your shoulders go back and down, okay? Now let's think about this muscle here again. Let's isolate that muscle. Let's use a little bit of a kick. We're going to raise that toe up to the ceiling, but let's aim to keep the knees parallel if we can. See, you'll see here, those knees are parallel as much as they can be. I'm flexing right here. Okay, keep your torso steady. Let's kick the other leg up and down. Here we go. One leg, down, the other leg, down. Up and down, up and down. We have five and five, four and four, three, three, two, two. Now hold it up there. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it down. Opposite side up. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it down. Okay. Let's ramp it up just a little bit more on those legs. Here, we're going to take the tips of our fingers. We're going to tuck them gently below our hips. Make sure those shoulders are nice and secure. We're going to put one toe on the floor and one heel out in front. Again, that's one toe on the floor and one heel out in front. Now switch, heel toe, switch, and switch, and switch. Good, not too fast, only enough that we can control it. Good, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and done. Good, bring them back, excellent. Take a moment to circle that ankle. Get the creeks out, both directions. And other ankle, just a couple of circles. Good, excellent, okay. Now let's relax that ankle on the lateral side. We're going to toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. Out to the side and back in again. And a good even clip and redistribute the weight on your hips. And here we go, opposite side. Toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. Walk it back in. Excellent, okay, secure those hips. Make sure you feel nice and safe. Two feet at a time. Toes, heels, toes, 
heels. Out and in, out and in. Out, in, out, in. And last but not least, in. Good, perfect. Okay, let's move up the body. As we've, what we've worked through to warm up the legs, let's come up into the digestive area here. When we think about the digestive area, we think about the soft portion of the core. We have our rib cage and a lot of bone structure up here. We have more bone structure here, but we have a lot going on in here that helps to control all of the rest of it. So let's think about that digestive system, warm it up. What do we do first? Posture check, roll those shoulders back. Take your one, one hand with an imaginary rag. I want you to push that rag to the opposite side. Turn your shoulders and your head in the direction you're facing as if it's one component. Good, rag in the other side and push. Good, smooth motion. Here we go, wash that countertop. We can all relate to that, right? Wash that countertop. It's a big counter, so push all the way out, all the way out. Allow your body to turn in the waist. Feel that digestive system warming up. Here we're working that stomach. We're thinking about whittling away that waist. Good, okay. Let's take our rags and take them away from the counter and let's wash the window. So work those rags up the window, up the window, up to the corners, as much of a corner as you can hit. Good, turning the body in the waist. Let's bring it back down the window and back down onto the counter. And four, three, two, relax. Come back to center, put your shirt back in place, and let's row the boat for a moment. Grabbing your oars, lead with your elbows, and row, row. Good, now remember, as much as you can, as often as you can, keep those, those shoulders right over those hips. Try to stay away from leaning on the back of the chair if you can. Two more. Let's swim it forward. Here we go. Big old breaststroke there. Good. Right over the top. Here we're warming up the shoulders in the back. Two more. Last one. Good. Okay. Relax one hand. Take the other hand with that rag and let's wash the mirror. We want to go fast up and slow down. Fast, slow, fast, slow. Three, two, one, let's reverse our direction. Here we go, fast up and slow. Up, slow. Three, two, last one. And move that rag on over to the opposite side. Pick any direction, fast up, slow. Fast up, slow. Three, two more. Last one, bring it down, let's reverse our direction. That's one heck of a clean mirror we have here. All the way up. Three. Two more. Last one. Excellent. Okay, now let's put that shirt again back where you found it. And let's think a little bit about our rotator cuff. Your rotator cuff is the ball and socket joint that comprises the shoulder. So many small muscles in there make that happen. So let's warm that up before we move much further. We're going to warm up that rotator cuff, those muscles by placing our palms up and forward in front of us. Our elbows are close to our waist. We want a nice 90 degree angle right here if we can. And let's simply open here and close, keeping your elbows close to your waist. Good. Turning three and two and one. Good. Reach out in front of the body at shoulder height. Joints are in a line, shoulder, elbow, wrist. Okay. Well, all we're gonna do is turn the doorknobs. Turn the doorknobs. And you may also think of this as lift and pour. Pour it in, lift it up. Pour it in, lift it up. Two more, one more. Good, relax. Okay, let's start to bring it into gear. We're gonna warm those arms up a little bit more. Roll those shoulders back. Let's come into our Popeye muscle right here, that bicep. Let's come up and touch the shoulders and down. Keep those elbows right where they are. Four three, two, and one. Turning your palms to face the TV, pushing through the heels of your palm right here. Push forward out in front of the shoulders. Push and push. Good. Four, three, fingers up, two, and one. Good. From here, let's reach up. Now let's change our hands a little bit. 
Let's open the hands so our elbows are out to the sides. Turn the palms in, reach all the way up, and pull down to, for, to flex that bicep right here. Make those fists. Reach up, pull, up, and pull. We have four. Reach, three, reach, two, reach, one, all the way up. Bring them down in front and let's open that cabinet again. Squeezing the shoulder blades around the spine. Open the cabinet here, leading with your shoulders, excuse me, leading with your elbows, and close. Squeeze those shoulder blades right around the spine and continue to breathe normally. Three more, two more, last one. Close the arms, turn your palms down. The arms are directly out in front of the shoulders. Lower those shoulders, let's press down. Palms down, three, two, press, and up, press, and three more, two more, last one, good. Bringing them back out for, as, as if we're going to pull those ropes. We have palms in, let's pull in with the elbow behind the body here, and then we're going to throw it back and behind us, and throwing it back enables us to work this muscle right here, the tricep muscle. Okay, shoulders down, hands in front, palms facing each other, pull in and throw it back. Hands to the hips and reach, pull, throw, to the hips, reach, pull, throw, hips, reach, pull, three, hips, reach, pull, two, hips, reach, pull, one, hips and reach. Good, open it up, excellent. Okay, now we're going to squeeze the chest. Palms are open. We are going to go fast to close, but we don't wanna to touch. We wanna to keep those joints in a line, so we're gonna to close to parallel. Slow open and close. Feel that chest muscle. Here we go, five, open, four, open, three, open two open one and relax roll those shoulders good i like what what deb's doing over there to the right i like one shoulder at a time let's try that how about we go the other direction good roll excellent okay take a little breather grab a drink of water if you'd like we're going to bring our soup cans our one pound weights into gear and you'll see Marie to my left in the pink. Marie's going to be performing these exercises without weight. Never forget the weight of the body itself, the power of the body. Even if we're doing these exercises without weight, remember you're raising the weight of the bone, the weight of the muscle. You're still getting a great workout. But if you need a little more today, you're gonna to grab those soup cans. Let's come back to our bicep muscle. Okay, now if you can, let's try and keep a little march. Just a small one. And as we march, we're touching the balls of the feet down to the floor. And again, you don't have to march. Okay, you'll see Deb and I have our weights. We're gonna do some bicep curls. Let's curl them up to the shoulders. In three, two, one. Up and down. Up and down. Good, up and down. Deb is doing them one at a time. You can do them two at a time or one at a time. I like that she's doing it one at a time. How about we do four and three, two more, one. Let's bring them to 90 degrees. Just hold them there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Feel a little bit of tension. Good, okay, let's turn our palms to face inward. So our cans are upright. Okay, we're gonna push them. I want you to push them out toward the TV. Keep that march if you can. Three, two, push, out and in, out, in, out, in. We have four, in, three, in, two, in, one, and in. Take them out for me. Good, we're going to open the cabinet here. Remember, open the cabinet, lead with your elbows. Three, two, and one. Open, close, open, close. Five, four, three, Two, one, close, good. 
Excellent. Lower them down, back to 90 degrees. We're going to use that tricep muscle again. Let's throw them back. Follow me when you're ready. I'm going to extend here and back to the hips, so back up. Three, two, one. Toss them back and in. Back, in, back, in. Four, three, two, one. Relax, good. Nicely done. Okay, we're going to take those arms straight out in front. Let's think about the chest and the back. Shoulders are low. Let's open wide, long arms. Follow when you're ready. Three, two, open wide. Good, a little bit of a fast close here. Close, open, two, and close, and open, one, two, and close, and open, one, two, and close, and open, one, two. We have three more, and open. We have two. Open, and one, and open. Good, if you can keep up with us here, we're gonna raise them up. Go ahead, ladies, and raise them to 90 degrees at the elbows. Palms up, let's press up and toward the light bulbs. Here we go, three, two, one, up, down, up, and down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bring them down. Place the weight, lower your march, Place the weight out near your knees and march. We're giving a little additional weight to the legs here. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, take those weights back and roll those shoulders for just a moment. Good, okay, let's bring the arms and the weights into gear. Let's come back to our bicep muscle. We have our palms facing up. We are going to kick one leg out at a time with our heel as we raise up, simultaneously kicking and raising the weights. Foot comes back and we lower the weight. Kick and raise. Kick and raise. Perfect. You got it. Nice, easy pace. You'll notice we've taken it down just a hair. We're getting ready to come down into our cool down phase. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, keeping those feet steady, let's elongate the arms and turn them so the palms are facing back and behind us. Roll those shoulders back so the chest is open. We are going to raise the arms here to shoulder height and back down. Good, arms only, up and down and up and down and four. Thinking about the front of your shoulder here. Three, and two, last one. Hold them, hold them. Five, four, three, two, one. Didn't expect that, right? Good to change it up a little bit. Turn your palms inward. Let's work the top of the shoulder right here a little bit. Make sure that that chin stays on a shelf. Raise your shoulders up and down, up, and down. We have five, and four, three. Is that back away from the chair? Are we doing okay? Not leaning on the chair there? How about one more right here? Good. All right, take a break. Set those weights down to your sides. Good, okay. And let's begin to relax. Let's circle the wrists. They did a lot of work today and in the opposite direction when you're ready. Good, start to pull the air in toward your body, pulling it in, excellent. Here you're stretching those shoulder blades and continuing to move the fluid through your joints. Three, two, and one. Excellent, okay. Scoot those hips slightly to the edge of that chair just so, just enough so that we can extend a leg. You'll see we're going to stretch the legs. We're going to extend a leg, toe up, easily bent knee, placing both hands on one thigh. Let's hinge forward in the hips, but keep your chin up. Nice straight spine. We're stretching right back here. Good. 
And let's sit tall. Let's trade those feet out. Opposite foot comes forward. Place the hands on the stable leg. And let's lean slightly forward in the hips. Nice straight spine. Good. And sit up tall. Perfect. Let's bring one foot out and touch the toe. We're bending and just reaching that toe out in front. Two more. One more. Good. Relax. Opposite side. Pointing and flexing. Three, two, and one. Good. Sit tall. One arm, palm up and over slightly, just enough to extend this side of the body. Good. Reach all the way through that range of motion. Place that hand on the thigh. Let's do the other side and stretch that abdominal section. Good. And back up. Good. Reach those arms up and toward me. Let's open that chest. Palms up. Flip those palms and roll the shoulder blades. You know this one, we've been here before. Up and open, down and close. Up and open, down and close. Last time, up and open, down and close. Relax, roll those shoulders. Let's do a couple of deep inhales and exhales as we say goodbye for the day. Thank you so much for joining us as always. We can't do it without you. Find us at Portsmouth Public Media TV. And you, that our, excuse me, I was about to lose my words. Our web address is easy. It's www.ppmtvnh.org. If you ever wondered what it might be like to be on one of our shows, come join us, check us out. Okay, here we go, inhale. And out through the mouth, good. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose.